Hey guys, Color SC bringing you the fourth and final cast I'll do of Toss Girl playing in the live battle. And here, she and Jung Mi will c attempt to play a 2v3 against three amateurs. Um, enjoy this game while it lasts, because uh, to be honest, I don't know how many more games you'll see from Toss Girl. Uh, really, I don't know with the level of competition going up every year. And, um, and Toss Girl is, uh, is not young. She's uh, 23, actually. Um, and she still hasn't won a single pro game. I, I, I just don't know if um, STX will choose to keep her on as just a, a mascot. Or, or what, or if she's ever going to have any game time. Maybe just in the early stages of, uh, of tournaments, but uh, if she doesn't manage to pass through them, obviously we won't see her much in, um, in VODs. But anyway, so enjoy this chance of watching uh, the female pro gamers play here. And uh, she's going to be partnered, of course, again with Jung Mi. Now, uh, they had just played a 2v3, and they actually lost very quickly um, in their last 2v3. Uh, basically, Jung Mi got rushed pretty badly, as, as Jung Mi the Zerg player right now at the 11 o'clock, and um, Tosker, of course, the Terran player at the 3 o'clock, but Jungmi got rushed pretty badly and uh, the game went downhill from there. So this is their second attempt at playing a 2v3. Once again, they don't know the races of their opponents, but I'm pretty sure their, ra their opponents actually pick their races, uh, probably picking what they're the strongest at is, of course. Um, and we, here we're going to be watching uh, Toss Girl's uh, first-person view for a while, I guess. And uh, we'll see what kind of strategy they decide to use, not knowing their opponent's races. Um, looks like Toss Girl is going to be walling in here. Now, there's actually going to be some strategy involved in this game. Uh, this is not going to be a simple noob bash uh, as, as pro versus amateur games are going because of the fact that it is a 2v3 and because they've just lost a 2v3, so it shows the, just the sheer power having that additional uh, uh, player, of course. And uh, we're going to see that... Um, and it looks like an 8 racks has been built for the orange Terran player at the 12 o'clock location. I think that barracks was up way too fast to be a 10 racks. So it was an 8 racks from uh, the 12 o'clock position. And uh, blue already, Jungmi could already be in a bit of trouble now, right in the start of this game. And we are seeing, yes, indeed, they are playing against three opponents. Uh, so Jungmi could be in a, in a lot of trouble because now the orange uh, player, the, the enemy team, is going to know that Jungmi is the Zerg player at the upper left. They're probably going to triple rush her, um, knowing that Tosco is going to take a while before she can get any Marines up there. Tosco sealing herself in and getting a refinery now. Uh, so she's going to be going for a tech build, it seems. So not going to go for Medic Marines. She realizes she has to play a longer game here because she's fighting against two opponents. Uh, sorry, three opponents. Um, uh, so it, it's it's she's not gonna be able to end it with medic marines. Uh, one of the races will certainly survive and then uh, and and just cause a lot of damage to her. So she's got to play for a slightly longer game. Uh, meanwhile, I wonder what Jomi is doing. She might be even uh, forced into putting a sunken down, which is not gonna be good because I'm pretty sure Jomi went for a nine pool, and that is not what you want. Uh, in addition to hurting your economy with a nine pool. So we've seen so far a Terran and a Protoss at the 12 and 3 o'clock respectively. Uh, I wonder if the uh, enemy team decided to go for a, a rainbow uh, team here, all three races. Um, We'll have to see if this is Zerg somewhere in the lower left. Uh, looks like Toss Girl, I'm sorry, uh, Jungmi's actually managed to get a couple of Marines, I'm sorry, Zerglings into Orange's base. Uh, and Orange is actually playing very defensively, so perhaps Orange is not a very strong player. Uh, Orange gone, uh, had gone for the eight racks, but still uh, looks like wasn't able to attack with it efficiently. Um, and oh, Toss Girl doing a very nice job of just blocking that Zealot uh, a little bit from getting to the middle, just with the, her SCV. It is indeed uh, a Zealot from the Teal player, so it's going to be a Protoss, Protoss, Terran um, enemy here that they're facing. So it's a good thing that basically Toss Girl decided to go for uh, early factory, because this is going to be a much more efficient build than Medic Marines against this uh, raise matchup, certainly. Toss Girl also playing a very safe, actually, choosing to get a uh, bunker in the front door. I think she wants to prevent um, a 2v1 like Dragoon Rush from working against her. And uh, a lot of Zerglings out for Jungmi, but unfortunately a Bunker is in a very good position there for uh, the Orange player. And uh, I don't think Jungmi's going to have that much success if the Orange player can micro uh, his SCVs. I, of course, I can only see from the minimap what's going on. Uh, yeah, looks like this is the first person view of Jungmi, and uh, oh, Jungmi not doing too well here actually. Um, uh, Jungmi uh, ooh, losing two drones there unnecessarily. And I think one drone's not even mining. Uh, or No, it's mining. But um, that's quite poor play from Jungmi, unfortunately. Letting that one Zella get so many kills. Uh, two drone kills. And that, that is something that she could not afford. This is, uh, by the way, Jungmi's first miss review. I'll say it again. The Zerg player, uh, who is the teammate of... Um, of Toss Girl, and oh no, are you just going to build sunken colonies? She's laughing at herself, but it's not funny, Jung Me. It's just not funny. Please don't bring Toss Girl down. I, I just, I want to see Toss Girl win this. Uh, <laughs> but it's not looking good because she's building sunken colonies and uh, she's typing something. Um, 
probably saying something like, LOL, I'm a girl. No, no. Uh, but yeah, you gotta stop building sunken colonies! Stop! You gotta stop building sunkens! You gotta build zerglings, Jungmi. I mean, I know she's gonna get 3v1 pretty soon. She just can't build sunken. She can't lose drones either. Wow. Really cannot afford that. Um, I mean, obviously she's in trouble because uh, there's gonna be a double zealot rush on her, but... Um, I felt her opening was quite poor there. Going for the attack on the uh, on the Terran player of all things, the Terran player with the bunker, uh, and this is not looking good for Jung Mi, despite the fact that she's going to have a base uh, fairly secured. And uh, I think they're asking whether they want to play a two v two, which means uh, one of the other players would uh, have to leave. I think that's what they're basically saying, and the other the team might be rejecting it though because they're just, they're just so so scared of Toss Girl. I'd be scared of Toss Girl too. I mean. Uh, Maybe, maybe, maybe uh, Jung Mi is actually the girl who keeps beating me online, uh, Rand girl. Maybe that's actually her uh, playing, smurfing, of course. Um, anyway, so Toss girl is gone for mass vultures uh, and mines. This is definitely going to help her, uh, her ally, but um, I, I don't know how quickly this is going to do enough damage to the opponents. She needs to go and take out one of them ASAP, or else she's going to be faced with a, a 3v1, which is going to be absolutely impossible to handle. Um, oh, wow, she's got th uh, three uh, vultures in that base, and uh, so far... N uh, no Dragoons out for the, the white uh, Protoss player, so with sufficient micro, Toss Girl could do a lot of damage there, and I think she's trying to lead the Zealots into a minefield. I don't know if that's going to work, though. And uh, she's already falling behind a little bit on food count. She needs to hurry up on her micro a little bit. Uh, Toss Girl, uh, meanwhile, laying mines all around the center. Um, uh, we'll see if Chung Mi can, uh, Jung Mi can hold off the 3v1 that's uh, camped out her base right now. Uh, basically, what they're doing is isolating her. Um, and, and just uh, making this game into a 3v1 on top of uh, Toss Girl, basically. And Toss Girl so far with no tanks, just with all vultures here. Uh, the problem is not so much the two Protoss players, but it's going to be the Terran player, the orange player. Although, actually, no, the orange player won't be that much of a problem either, because the orange player has, I believe, gone for Medic Marines. So uh, this vulture build is actually quite smart here from Toss Girl. Toss Girl laying more mines. She's going to be going for a big attack here at the uh, white player. Um, and the white player, see, this is uh, how bad zealots are against uh, speed, uh, <laughs> against upgraded vultures. They're just uh, no match. And oh, the white player is going to get hosed here. So uh, the white player is eff effectively out of the game. Toss Girl with some nice work there. Uh, gonna lay, lay a couple of mines and pick off every single probe there. Uh, no two ways about it, basically. that The white base is uh, gonna be probeless very soon, and maybe even finished off. We'll have to see if she decides to finish off um, uh, the Nexus there or, or, or not. And uh, now picking off the Zealots there. Uh, yeah, so pretty much nothing left for them, but I still am, uh, I still don't know what Teal and Orange are doing. Orange start off with Medic Marines. Teal could be going for a more standard anti terran build, which would be very effective uh, you know, if he decides to go for uh, Mass Dragoons or something like that, or some kind of tech build. Um, anyway, Tosco with her first tanks out now, and Jung Mi is still effectively out of the game. Pretty much she's just all sunken colonies, and I just, I'm amazed why she put down so many sunkens. Uh, she had another hatcher going up. I know she wanted to stay in the game, but um, as a as a as a very good player, she should have known that it's impossible to stay in the game if you have three drones and you know five sunken. So that's not the way to win. Uh, Toscaro is going to try to rescue her now. Uh, going to the upper left, um, lots of medic marine there, but unfortunately there's also bunkers uh, leading the way towards uh, blocking the way towards her base, and this is going to be really tough for Toscaro to deal with. Toscaro expanding to uh, her natural expansion now. She needs, of course, to fight off um, all these different opponents with uh, with a big economy. It looks like Tosco Toscaro is going to try and go for a counterattack on Teal. If he, she, if she can finish Teal off, that will obviously make it a very fair fight between her and Orange. Uh, but will she be able to do that? Is a good question. Um, looks like a couple of zealots were still alive there for uh, White, and White's going to be trying to micro these zealots to pick off these tanks. Toscaro is going to take care of them pretty easily, though. So Toscaro needs to go and do some damage now to one of the two remaining players, uh, one of our two remaining opponents. And, uh, and really, that's going to be what determines the game, I think, the next few minutes, because you can't let one of them survive, either of them survive. If they both survive, I, don't, I think this is going to be a good game for her, because uh, Jung Mi, I think, is pretty much out of the game. Actually, I think Jung Mi may have been able to hold it off. I, I don't know what's going on inside of Jung Mi's base. Uh, you know, I really can't tell. But it uh, looks like Toss Girl is going to begin sieging in and pushing towards Teal, the Protoss player, at the... Uh, at the uh, bottom left, and uh, Teal's going to push in with uh, his Zealots. That, that's not going to go anywhere, though. Two Dragoons and two Zealots. And it uh, looks like he's actually cho chosen to get tons of Sunkens. Unfortunately, that's not going to be any good against um, uh, the mass tanks that Toss Girl has, although she's doing... Oh, she's had some poor control there. Uh, shouldn't have lost those units to the Photon Cannon. But um, I I'd say... Uh, I'd give it even odds at this point, really. Um, I think... Uh, 
I think Toss Girl is uh, is doing quite well here. And interesting enough, a Corsair be was built for the Teal player, uh, of all things. Uh, Toss Girl not doing a SCV transfer. And this is what I mean. Um, I think if it was uh, a player like uh, Nada in this game right now, or um, you know, uh, just a, a better Terran player, I think uh, they would certainly be even farther ahead than um, Toss Girl is. And oh man, a big attack from Orange coming into natural expansion of Toss Girl. Will Toss Girl be forced to retreat here? It looks like she will be forced to retreat. This is really bad for Toss Girl. No, she looks like she's going to finish off Teal. I think this is the right move here to try to finish off Teal while defending with the units that come out because uh, she's only facing Medic Marines here. Um, White is out of the game. Teal is uh, blockaded into his base. So if uh, if she can focus down Teal and, and finish Teal off, uh, she still has a chance in this game. She's still can come back and win. Um, and I think she can probably defend from what she has, but no, she's letting the zealots get close. It's really bad because the zealots are just 